Hello everyone, this is Barbershop Book Storytime with Alvin Irby. Hello! And I have a really cool book for today. It's called Dragons Love Tacos. Do you like tacos? Because I love tacos. As a matter of fact, there's actually a Mexican restaurant only one block from my house. It takes me less than one minute to walk there and they serve the most delicious tacos ever. And so, dragons aren't the only ones who love tacos because I love tacos too. Well, let's take a look at the cover. Do you see, do you see this dragon? It looks like he's eaten so many tacos that his stomach is stuffed. And even though he's stuffed, he still has tacos and more tacos in his mouth. This dragon looks like, it looks like he really, 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 really loves tacos. I can't wait to find out what happens. All right, dragons love tacos. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos. They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. And look, this kid has a dragon on his dresser. Do you see it? All of his dresser drawers are open. That's kind of interesting. Do you see that? None of them are closed. And look at this kid's bedroom. He even has dragon pictures or paintings. Do you see it? It's right here. And he even has toy dragons. So it looks like this kid really, really loves dragons. And you know what I really like? I wonder, can you guess? Look what's next to his bed. Right here. A bookshelf just like mine. Look. So, looks like he loves dragons and books. Let's find out about these dragons. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. This is making me hungry. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? And look, Is that a little dragon arm? <laughs> Maybe. And look at all of these vegetables for seasoning. Do you see them? All different types of vegetables. I wonder if I know what some of them are. Well, these vegetables right here look like bell peppers because they're shaped kind of like a bell. And I know what this is. These are cloves of garlic. These look like they could be tomatoes and onions. And these are some kind of pepper, peppers. I don't know what kind of peppers, but there's some kind of peppers. And then of course, we all know what these are. What are they? Of course, tacos. <laughs> and look at this dragon. He has a bag from the taco cave. Oh, that's cool. I guess this dragon has to go to a cave to buy his tacos. Do you go to a cave when you buy tacos? I hope not. Tacos, they don't usually come from caves. When I get tacos, I go to the Mexican restaurant that's a block from my house. For those of you who are just tuning in to Barbershop Book Storytime. Today we are reading 
dragons love tacos. Here's the pictures from the pages that I just read. There you go. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. Dragons don't like spicy salsa, but they breathe fire. Why wouldn't they like spicy salsa? I love spicy salsa on everything. Omelets, tacos, even by itself with tortilla chips. Do you like spicy salsa? If you don't, then you are kind of like a dragon because it says dragons hate spicy salsa. They hate, they hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate, they hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. So look at this. This kid right here, it looks like he's trying to make salsa, but can you read the book? It says, no spicy salsa, a guide to dragon cuisine by Alan Poof. Why don't dragons like spicy salsa? I don't know. Well, let's find out what happens next. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Oh, wow. It says exactly what I was thinking. Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Did you know that? <laughs> that one drop of spicy salsa will make a dragon's ear smoke? Could you imagine smoke coming out of someone's ears just because they ate a drop, just one drop of spicy salsa? That's weird. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. <laughs> spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that one drop of spicy salsa makes a dragon's ear smoke? Did you know that it makes their tummy feel bad? I had no idea. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. That means mild just means not hot. You just want to keep all the ingredients really, really not hot, not spicy, just mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. You know, I've never made tacos for dragons. So I'm learning a lot about the type of stuff that dragons like. Have you ever made tacos for dragons? Or just one dragon? Have you ever even seen a dragon? That would be kind of cool, but also maybe a little scary. Unless the dragon brought tacos. Then, well, we would definitely be friends. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? <laughs> Look what the dragon did. The dragon, he turned upside down 
And what is he grab he holding on to? What is he grabbing? He's grabbing his stomach. Do you see it? And look, look at his tongue. When the kid asked him, what does he think about spicy taco toppings? The dragon was like, oh. <laughs> Dragons really, really, really do not like spicy toppings. Do you like spicy toppings? You want to know a secret? I love spicy toppings. I love them on everything. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. Man, it's been so long since I've gone to a party, but reading this book makes me remember how much fun going to parties can be. Look, <laughs> I think this is the costume party. Do you see the different costumes that they have on? I see a pirate. Do you see the pirate dragon? Right here. And I think I see a wizard dragon. Do you see it? A wizard dragon? And then, hmm, what kind of dragon is this? Maybe a super dragon? Maybe. <laughs> and then look, the dragons are having a pool party. One of them looks like he's relaxing, getting a tan. Or maybe he already has a tan. I'm not sure. But, wow, I had no idea that dragons loved parties so, so much. They like big, gigantic parties and accordions. Do you know what an accordion is? It's a musical instrument that you play with both hands and you move it in and out. And when you move it in, and when you move it out, it makes a really, really, really cool sound. It kind of almost looks like, have you ever seen a slinky? It's kind of like, it, it, it's a coil and it kind of, you can bounce it. An accordion kind of reminds me of a slinky a little bit. Let's see what else dragons like. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. <laughs> That's a really fun game where you have to guess what someone's acting out. Why do dragons love parties? Hmm. Why do you think dragons love parties? Is it because they like to dance? I don't know. Is it because dragons maybe like to play Uno? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. I love to laugh. Do you like to laugh? Okay, do you want to know another secret? I'm actually a comedian. So I actually sometimes get on stage and tell jokes and make people laugh. So maybe dragons would really like me. Do you make people laugh sometimes? Well, guess what? I bet dragons would like you too. And here's the pictures of all of the dragons dancing to the sounds of the accordion. Do you see the accordion? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. The accordion is right here. You see these two instruments? And then here are the dragons playing charades. 
So cool. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos <laughs> is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. And you know what? Dragons are huge. So I can only imagine how many tacos they must have at their parties. How many tacos do you think they have? A, like at a dragon party. Do you think they have like maybe like five tacos? What about 20 tacos? What about a thousand tacos? Maybe they have 300 million tacos. Well, it doesn't say that in the book. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I've never been to a dragon taco party. But I bet there are a lot, a lot, a lot of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Oh, my goodness. You need pants loads of tacos. Pants loads? Wow. You ever put tacos in your pants? That could get messy really quick. Your mom probably would not like you to put tacos in your pockets. As a matter of fact, do not ever put tacos in your pockets. Because what will happen if you put a taco in your pocket? Of course, all the ingredients in the taco will fall into your pocket. Oh, man. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That would be a boatload of tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Can you imagine an entire boat full of tacos? Do you see all these ingredients? Even the, the dog is dragging a bag full of tacos. Does anyone see a pants load of tacos? Do you see a pair of pants that are filled with tacos? I think I see them right over here. Do you see this? It's a, pan, a pair of pants and they're filled with tacos. And then over here, do you see the boatload of tacos? I see it. It says SS Taco. That's really cool. Hey, Dragon. Are you excited for the big taco party? I think the Dragon is really excited. He's marking it on his calendar. There's even a cool... I think this may be a taco calendar because look, there's a picture of a taco, but that's no ordinary taco. It's a cool taco because it's wearing cool black shades. Wow. Oh, there's a flyer. I wonder what the flyer says. It says you're invited. Taco party for dragons. Wow. At Robbie's house November 23rd at 7 p.m. Wow this is such a cool story especially for people who love tacos. Just remember dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so dragons can't find it. Wow. Look at all of these dragons lining up to get into the dragon party. Can you see them? And look at the house. The house is full of tacos. There's tacos on the first floor and there's tacos on the second floor. There's even a dragon on top of the house who's peeking inside. Wow. And what do you see right here? 
What is this little kid doing? I think he's burying the spicy salsa in the backyard. Can you see him? Man, I don't know if I would have buried my salsa. Maybe I would have just put it away somewhere where they couldn't find it, like in my dresser. Where would you hide spicy salsa so the dragons couldn't find it? Would you put the spicy salsa in your shoes? No, that would be silly. Hmm, where could you hide the spicy salsa from dragons? These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Sounds like a successful taco party for dragons. Do you see everyone having a good time and eating lots of tacos? One of the dragons even has a shirt that says, I love tacos. Oh man, there's so many tacos being eaten by these dragons. You know what? This book is kind of making me hungry. Is it making you hungry too? You know, I'm not just hungry for any kind of food. This book is actually kind of making me hungry for, what do you think? Yep, tacos. <laughs> it's a good thing you got rid of all the spicy salsa. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. Look at this salsa. It says totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh no. What do you think is going to happen if they give the mild salsa with the spicy jalapenos to the dragons? Oh my goodness, they should have read the fine print. Did you read it? Okay, I'm going to read it again. It says, the fine print, it's this, like these little words right here. Can you see them? It says, now with spicy, uh-oh, jalapeno peppers. I don't think this is going to be good. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa. Those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. You want to know something? I actually have a jalapeno pepper. Do you want me to go get it? Mm, I'll show you later. Oh, this isn't good. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, man. The dragons are eating the tacos. What do you think is going to happen? after the dragons eat all of those tacos with the mild salsa that has jalapeno peppers in it. Look at them. They're chomping down. See? Crunch, crunch. All of the dragons are just eating the tacos. And look. Do you see all those empty jars of the mild salsa? Uh-oh. This is not going to be good. Let's see. <gasps> Too late. Wow. I don't think the dragons are feeling well. You take a look. All the dragons, their mouths are on 
fire. Wow. I don't think that mild salsa with the jalapeno peppers was a good idea. Now all the dragon's mouths are on fire. Look, and now there's smoke everywhere. Wow. Is that how your mouth feels when you uh, taste something that's really spicy? Does it feel like your mouth is on fire? One time, I did eat a pepper that was so, so hot that it did make my mouth feel like it was on fire. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. A good Samaritan is someone who helps someone else in need. Like if a nurse saw someone who was sick and then she went over to help, even though she wasn't even working, well, she would be considered a good Samaritan. If you saw someone trip on the playground and you walked over to help them up and to ask if they were okay, well, that would make you a good Samaritan. A good Samaritan is just someone who helps someone else when they need help. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. They're asking why in the world would dragons help rebuild the house? And look, the house is pretty much gone. But who remembers? Why? Why is the house gone? What happened to the house? Do you remember? Well, this is what happened to the house. Remember? After the dragons ate the spicy salsa, they all had flames coming out of their mouth and, I, and it burned the entire house down. But the dragons, they're helping to fix the house. <laughs> Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. So guess what? Some of the dragons are taking a break from fixing the house to eat, guess what? Tacos. But I bet whoever made the tacos, they did not put spicy salsa on the tacos. After all, dragons, they love tacos. And that's the end. Today, I read this really cool story called Dragons Love Tacos. Thank you all so much for listening. This is Barbershop Book Story Time every single Tuesday and Friday at 11 a.m. I'll be here reading really, 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 really fun stories to all of you. If you want to support Barbershop Books, check out our website, barbershopbooks.org. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, bye-bye. Toot, toot, toot.